All right, guys, we're going to label this video Deer Meat for Dinner. There's another channel out there that's actually called Deer Meat for Dinner, and it's actually a pretty good, pretty good YouTube channel. But um, I told you guys that I would, um, I would actually show some video, maybe not necessarily of me cooking, but doing something with the, with the deer that we did harvest in one of our previous videos. You guys saw that. And I want to show you some video. My wife actually, beautiful, wonderful woman, she is she actually uh putting together uh, some stuff in the crock pot for tomorrow so let me show you what it looks like i wish we had smell-o-vision oh god that smells good um this is actually venison this is uh the venison that i uh killed harvested with my muzzleloader it'll set in the crock pot all night you guys can see the onions and things of that nature and, and whatever. But this will sit in the crock pot uh, all night. And Babe, what do we expect to do with this, do you think? Babe? I know, but I mean, are you gonna like anything special with it or what? Okay, so it'll be much like a roast. You guys probably couldn't hear it, but it'll be much like a roast uh, is what we'll, what we'll end up doing. Uh, maybe adding some, you know, uh, potatoes or something to it. Uh, but you guys can see the onions. That's the deer that we harvested. So go watch the video. I'll put the link uh, for that video somewhere here, maybe, or here. I'll put that video, the link to that description, or in the description somewhere. How about that? That'll probably work easier for everybody. But that's that deer that we harvested, guys. So check that video out. Um, while we're waiting on this winter storm, I just I'm trying to shoot as much as I can and. So we'll have some video and so forth. So thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, and again, like I said, I'll put that, what I'll do is I'll put that video in the description, uh, probably the link to, to where we harvested the, the, the deer and, and the ducks, conversely. Uh, it's kind of funny because Omaha helps me locate uh, the deer after I harvested it. So, but that's gonna be good. So we're yummy, we're yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, hey everybody, yo, 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 good morning. Um, we just, I probably look like hell, but we just got, uh, just got the call. Um, and, uh, we've got to get up and, and go out and check on the weather and see what we can find. Uh, but I just got up and not long ago and <clears throat> kind of, uh, oh, I don't know. After I got the call, I was kind of looking through some YouTube videos and whatnot, and uh, um, <clears throat> it looks like Papa Texas is doing a, a giveaway uh, for some of that Bazeals, and I gotta be honest, guys, I would love to have that. Um, I know I'm tired and I'm not thinking real clearly, but I wanna show you something that I actually, um, actually shot just a little bit ago, uh, hours ago, actually, I shouldn't say a little bit, but, but hours ago. And um, and that's some of the venison that we actually uh, we actually harvested early in during deer season. It, that video also, consequently, I will put in the links to that particular video where we limited out on ducks that morning and then harvested um, the, the 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 buck, the small smaller buck that evening, and actually had to have Omaha come and help me find it. Uh, did a wonderful job. I'll, I'll link that. I'll put that uh, description to that video in the uh or put the link to that description of the video in the uh in the description sorry about that guys i'm dead tired just getting woke up but i want to want to turn the camera around i want to show you guys what's been in the crock pot all night long currently it's about uh uh almost four o'clock in the morning right now so we're we're right at four o'clock almost so and so this thing's been in the uh crock pot for about uh about nine hours or so have a look all right guys oh yeah i know that steam there we go that is some venison right here and uh this is from the deer that i harvested um from the deer that i harvested uh this early this deer season and we are going to make kind of a roast you guys heard my wife earlier talking about it 
We're going to make a, a roast out of this. Oh, it's falling apart already. Oh, it's done. Look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yummy. Oh, yummy, yummy. Let's see what this one. Oh, my gosh. It's just falling apart on me. Okay. This one's thick. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Just falling apart. Now, the reason I'm doing this video, I'm going to put that back in there. Um, I'm not, you know, a, a big on, you know, uh, a cook. In other words, I'm not a, I'm not a hell of a cook <clears throat> by any means. I'm not like Papa Texas or some of the other ones or, you know, whatever. But um, I do cook regularly. I just don't do videos on it and things like that. I, you know, I'm a hamburger and meat kind of a guy, so I don't, I don't really do all that stuff. So, uh, but with that said, gosh, doesn't that look yummy? Now. The reason I'm I'm the reason I'm uh, I'm shooting this right here is because wouldn't that be good with with some of that bazeals in it right there? Yeah, that'd be yummy. Look at that. Now imagine that with some bazeals in it. Yes, Papa Texas, that's what I'm talking about. So, with that said, um, we would lo I'd love to try some of that. I've never had it, and I would love to try that. No doubt about it. Currently, right now, we are uh, we're letting the vehicle warm up, and uh, we're gonna go out, and we've got to we've got a I've got a job to do, so uh, we got to get out and shoot a little weather video and and whatnot, and do my job. But uh, in any case, wanted to shoot that because kind of wanted to show Papa Texas um, what Bazils could could do. I mean, oh man, mm. um, of course that's just part of the roast. You know, we've got uh, the, uh, you know, burger, we've got, the, you know, the, the the back straps, tenderloins, blah, 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 all of that from that deer that we harvested. And again, I will leave the link to that video in the description so you guys can see it. And um, it, just be prepared that it is hunting. You know, I do hunt. Obviously, this channel is about, and, and me, what I'm about, you know, obviously I... I am about outdoors and things of that nature but you know most of my stuff is weather related you guys know that um, uh, the storm chasing the tours the tornado research that we do dropping the probes in front of the tornadoes uh, trying to get that scientific data and things of that nature but uh, we do obviously during the off season when there's not severe weather or even winter weather we you know we hunt and we fish and and family time that's our after the after the severe weather season that lull between uh winter time real winter time uh you know that's family time for us and it's time that we you know we, we might fish and hunt and and do things like that so uh, that video keeping in mind that it is actually me harvesting a live animal uh, a wild live animal so there's a little bit of blood and i apologize for that um and, and it shows me consequently taking some deer or some ducks limiting out on ducks that morning so if you're not into hunting videos or or that thing i that kind of thing i totally understand but please understand that we do eat and harvest our 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 you know our, our take our bounty if you will and this is no different uh you know we we you know, we harvest the deer uh, or the ducks, and, and we eat the crap out of them. We love it, entire family. I'm an avid deer hunter. I bow hunt, and I firearm hunt, and I muzzleload hunt. Consequently, that video, I uh, harvested that buck, a smaller buck, but harvested that buck with my muzzleloader, with my 50 cal, uh, 50 caliber. Um, so uh, I, I am into that hunting thing um, if, as well, and have been for many, many years. I killed my first deer when I was 11 years old so um, you know I, I truly it's kind of a feeling that you get of like putting food on the table for your family sure I, sure I could go to the store and I could buy you know 100 pounds of meat as opposed to going out and harvesting a deer or a wild animal of any kind but certainly we wouldn't get that same satisfaction and I wouldn't get the taste I, I love deer meat I love it so, uh, and then my whole family does. My son, my daughter, you know, uh, my oldest daughter, my wife, we, we all do. So for us, hunting is a mainstay. And in between, in, in between the seasons, again, it's family time, 
um, hunting time, things of that nature, where we, we really come together because during severe weather season, when I'm out on the tours and I'm out doing, laying the probes out, trying to get that scientific data, and then even during winter weather, when I'm out shooting for the networks, and, and, and I do shoot for the networks, obviously, severe weather season, but when we're out, guys, I don't, my family time is limited. So for us, that time frame really means a lot to us. So um, we try to, you know, it's something special for us, if that makes sense. But that right there would be good with some of that Bazeals. I just have a feeling. So, Papa Texas, keep that in mind, buddy. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for watching. Watch the weather uh, this weekend. We will be up, out, and about. And uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to clean up here a little bit and uh, get, uh, get on the road. And uh, Hopefully we don't get too bad of weather, but we're going to get on the road and, and try to try to get some stuff uh, get some stuff uh, get some stuff up that said don't forget about the uh, the giveaway that we're currently doing right now with the weather station um, that link to that video I will also put in the description as well um, but uh, we've got to we've got to obviously go out and do our job so I won't have a lot of time in the next few days I'm sure to post a lot of video maybe we'll post some just some regular v b roll video of some of the weather but for the most part we, we probably won't have a heck of a lot of time to post a lot of video so a little vlog about uh, uh about some of the deer meat and and papa texas uh, his uh, his giveaway his current giveaway if you've not had an opportunity go over there to his channel subscribe because he does a lot a lot of stuff uh for a lot of people i mean he just he, when i say a lot of stuff what i'm referring to is a certain we've already given him a shout out and he's reciprocated but uh he is a great dude i mean he gives so much to the smaller creators and you know i he was once a smaller creator when i first saw him um you know my my boy and i were had been out duck hunting and i came across his channel and and uh, just absolutely loved it he was i think he was less than a thousand subscribers at that point i believe now the guy's got like five thousand plus subscribers and it's all because of his ability and his heartfelt, genuine personality. I mean, he's got this just a, just a great personality. So go go subscribe to Papa Texas. I'll also link his channel in the description uh, under my two uh, my two links uh, as well. So thanks guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. I know it's been a little bit of a long video, but I wanted to show Papa Texas my my venison. So we'll call this. We'll call this deer meat for dinner video. That's what we'll call it. Deer meat for dinner. Um, and then I'll, I'll uh, maybe we'll make a deer meat for dinner part two. Maybe with some bazils. Keeping the fingers crossed. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. We'll keep, keep us in your thoughts as we're out and about traveling, trying to get some video for the networks uh, um, in this icy conditions winter storm and uh certainly thank you guys all my subscribers one thing before i go guys please understand if i haven't subscribed to you or reciprocated to your channel just yet please give me time don't don't get dis, you know, discouraged or despaired because i haven't subscribed back or reciprocated um sometimes you know obviously like this i just it's four o'clock in the morning i just got called i've got to go out i'll probably be out the rest of the day and probably the night so and who knows where i'll end up so i may not have an opportunity to subscribe back to you or even to reply so but be patient i will guys i, I give you my word we try to read every comment every post things of that nature um so anyways thank you all very much for understanding and i appreciate it very much stay tuned uh, you never know what you're going to see. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell button for the not notification to see what our next video may be. You never know. You can hear Omaha over there whining. Speaking of Omaha, don't forget the giveaway. Like, subscribe, share. Share, share, share. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you all so much. Papa Texas, I'm watching you, baby. Thanks, guys. Take care, man.